Welcome. We're going to start off by talking about what data really is. So what is data? We're going to look at cases and variables, different types of data, categorical and quantitative, explanatory and response variables. So why study stats? Well, data is really what stats is about. And we need to collect data. We want to try to analyze it. And we need to summarize it and try to visualize it. For the most part, data is everywhere. Now, some of that is because of computers. And some of it's made easier because of computers. But data is everywhere. So, we need to go ahead and get some measurements on individual units. Now, if those individuals are people, we say those are individuals. If those are inanimate objects, then we don't necessarily describe them as individuals, but as units. Now, data is typically stored in individual or in data sets. Now, what we're obtaining information on are the cases or the units. What we are collecting from those cases, or if they're people, individuals, are referred to as your variables. So if you're recording height or weight or blood pressure, something like that. <coughs> Typically, when you think of your data sets, they're going to be given to you in a table where each row going across is a case where and each column is your variable that you're studying. So here's a, another example. So see here if you can identify the cases and identify what the variables are. So with this, the cases are each individual country going across. So Algeria going across, American Samoa going across. Now our variables are what we have here at the top, what we are collecting. Here we're collecting population, their land area, uh, their rural, I'm assuming they're probably percent rural, uh, their health, their internet, and so on. So here, see if you can identify what our cases are and what our variables are. Our cases would be each individual person going across. So here we have a senior and all the data collected from that senior. Here we have a sophomore and all the data collected from that sophomore. Your variables, once again, are all these things that are going across the top. So in column B, we're collecting gender, gender. In column C, we're collecting higher ACT, whether math or verbal, and so on. So take a look at this one here. See if you can think about what some of the risk factors are for kidney cancer. See if you can maybe hypothesize what's going on here and why these counties have the highest cancer rate. And then also go ahead and do that here for why these have the lowest. <coughs> so pause the video and go ahead and try to figure that out. One of the things I wanted you to see here with these is in both situations. Uh, okay, that's not... The, one I wanted, sorry about that. Okay, so in both situations, you notice the counties that are highlighted are counties that have very few people in them, relatively speaking to other counties. If you're thinking of Rochester, of Olmsted County, you'll notice that it has lots of people in it, but it's not listed up here. You think of way up here in the North Shore, this county, has very few people that live in it. So the key thing here is the sample size. If you have a small sample size, meaning in this case, a small number of people that live in the county, then 
increase your chance of having very different data because it's such a small sample size. Because if you have a few people that have kidney cancer in a really small cancer county, it increases the cancer rate for that county. Or if nobody has kidney cancer in that county, it makes it really small. Where if you have lots of people in a county, you don't get those extremes. So if we're looking at what's going on here, if you are looking at your cancer rates in the counties, then your cases are the counties. However, if you're actually looking at individuals and you're asking, do you have kidney cancer or not, then your cases are the people. Now, there are two types of data that we collect, categorical and quantitative. Categorical divide people into groups. If you're talking hair color, it would be black, red, brown, blonde, are kind of the main categories of hair color. And as you get to my age, then you also have to include gray. Now, the other type of data that we have that we collect are quantitative. And typically these are measured with a number for each case, like your height in centimeters or your weight in kilograms. So here we have some information related to one of our slides that we had earlier. See if you can go ahead and categorize these as either categorical or quantitative. So pause the video and do that, please. So as we look here, what do we have? We have our data that we're talking about. Now our year, we're going to go ahead and say it's a category. It's based on kind of like how many credits you have. Often it's how long you've been in school. Now it is possible, depending upon the way you look at it and define it, that it, it could go ahead and be quantitative, but we're going to say it's categorical. Gender, of course, is a category, which is higher, your math or your verbal, they're being described with uh, words, so that's a category. Your ACT score, I mean SAT score, is a number, so that's quantitative. GPA is quantitative, number of siblings is quantitative. Same with your height, your weight, your exercise, how much TV you watch, your pulse. However, we get to this next one, it's being described with words, it's going to be categorical. So, we want to try to answer questions with data. We collect data so that we can go ahead and try to look at it and find some interesting answers to some questions. So, does eating yogurt cause you to lose weight? Do males find females more attractive if they're wearing red? Does louder music cause people to drink more beer? Are lions more likely to attack after a full moon? Well, yes. So, for each one of these situations, find your variables and then classify your variables as categorical or quantitative. So go ahead and do that for each one of these and then we'll talk about this. So our variables here are do you eat yogurt or not, yes or no, and how much weight you lost. Eating yogurt, yes or no, is categorical. Weight loss is represented as a number, so that's quantitative. Do males find females more attractive if they wear red? So wearing red or not is one of your variables. And then uh, being more attractive or not is your other variable. And in this case, I would say they're both categorical. Wearing red or not, more attractive or not. Here, um, our variables are how loud the music is, typically measured in decibels, which is a number, so that's going to be quantitative, and how much beer people drink. And we could measure that in number of beers or ounces of beers, so that's also going to be quantitative. 